Hallelujah. I want to thank everybody for listening to this week's weekly update for the week of 10-21-2012. I want to thank everybody for listening. I am Pastor Chan Smith, founder and senior pastor of Revival is Here Ministries. God is really doing a work in Revival is Here Ministries, and I have an awesome news for you if you haven't already heard. The ministry is now tax-exempt, 501c3 public charity, tax-exempt, so all your donations can be taken off your taxes. And You know, I'm really thankful for that. The period of time that it took to get tax-exempt, I believe God shortened that because it was a very short time that I, and I got to that letter. So I know that God gave me favor and the ministry favor and pushed it through, and I'm really thankful and I just want to praise God for that. I know his hand is upon the ministry and me, and that's proof of it. And I just want to thank God for that. And that's amazing. So we can just go forward. I can just go forward and do God's work. Glory, hallelujah. You know, God is so good. He's there for you, and he's there for me. He will meet your need. And, you know, it might not be, and sometimes when you want it to, but he will always meet your need when he thinks you're ready for it. And you know, when he thinks you're ready for it is when you really are ready for it. Because when I was really young, I prayed for this to happen and it didn't happen. Well, now it happened and God said, I'm ready for it. And you know what? I'm thankful to God that he's given me this opportunity. And you know what? It's all about him giving him the glory. Glory, hallelujah. The uh, Revival Radio services have been doing really well. The one Sunday's uh, radio service, it was over 618 people that listened to it. That is amazing. Over 618 people. That's a, God's w- word is going forth. The podcast have been doing really well. The CD outreach has been doing amazing. People love to get the CDs. They've been mailed out to them free and they're receiving God's word and they're just loving it. They're just devouring God's word. They're so hungry and I'm thankful for that. God is using the min- me in the ministry and he's really doing a work. It's amazing to be a part of what God is doing. I love it. It's about reaching out to people and showing them God's love and bringing them God's presence. You know, and I believe that presence of God is on those CDs when they get them and on this right the radio services when people hear it. It's like they're in the church, you know, and that's what God is doing. He's doing a new thing. And I'm really thankful for that. People are hungry out there, and they're receiving it. They're hungry, and the gospel's coming to them. You know, church is coming to them, and that's what it's about, bringing God's word to people, meeting them at their time of need. You know what? And God is doing an awesome work. I'm so excited about that. You know, it's not about the bragging and anything so i'm not bragging i'm humbled to know that god is using me you know because it's not what i do it's what jesus did for me he made me righteous and he made me holy so he's using me and it's a gift from god and i want to thank god for that gift i want to thank him for using me i didn't earn it it's a gift and he's seen that he wanted to use me so and i asked him to use me so he's using me you know what god can use you too and he can use you and pour his spirit out upon you he wants to do that even right now and you just receive that right now in the name of jesus i speak financial blessing also into your life in the name of jesus 
I witnessed to somebody tonight, and I told them, I said, you know what? I speak a financial blessing into you that everything you do will prosper, and from tonight, now on, you're, you will have a prosperity and abundance in the name of Jesus. I spoke that to that person, and they received it, and you know what? When that happens for them, it's going to be a witness to them that God loves them, and you know what? They're going to give their heart to Jesus, and they're going to love on him. You know what? What? And, and that's what it's about bringing the gospel to the people that need it you know it's about reaching out to people and God loves you I don't care what you have done he loves you and you know it's not about lording over somebody and it's not about trying to tell them that you're better than them and all that stuff it's about reaching out to them in love and you showing them that God loves them and you show them that love you should have the presence of God on you so much that they feel that love coming out of you it's not about who's the elite and who pays the most tithe and stuff it's about God's love church should be about reaching out to people and, and God's love you know what we've got away from the church as it should be to a, a country club to a bunch of elitists just uh, throwing uh, their weight around and controlling people and having seats saved for them and the things like that you know what everybody should be allowed to come to church and you shouldn't have any seats saved for somebody just because somebody has a lot of money or they've been to church longer and all of that uh, stuff like that you know what all of that stuff doesn't get God's favor on someone's life. It's purely by the grace of God do you get God's favor on your life and about that relationship you have with God. Not about money, not about how close you sit to the front at church or having your seat reserved. You know what? That isn't what it's about. It's about having that relationship with God. It's not about pride. You know what? Pride is bad in the body of Christ right now. And we need to purge that pride out of the body of Christ in order for the church and America to see real revival. Pride is hindering revival, and we need to get it out of church. We need to get those conferences out of church and have a time just to be in presence of God. You know what? We should just get into the presence of God and not have all these uh, things just to make money or whatever. We need to go into and worry about reaching people and do things to reach people and not have these uh, things for a bunch of elitists to show how much they can... Uh, power they have in that church and to see how close they can sit to the front of the church it's about reaching out to you people showing them god's love walking in the presence of god we've gone away from what we are supposed to do jesus said bring you everybody all your uh, burden and heavy laden and i will give you rest he said bring them all to me and you know what where jesus is at he's saying that and when he's in the church that means he's saying come everybody Everybody in the church because he says well two or three are gathered in my name there I am in the midst of you so you know what if people are not coming that are burdened and heavy laden that are sick that are the cast outs of society if they're not coming to church then you know what Jesus isn't really there because so you know what when he is there they will come and you should be welcoming them and with open arms they should be welcomed and they should feel comfortable going to church because God's presence is there and they will have peace where God's presence is there is freedom peace liberty you hear what I'm telling you we need to get back to what God has called us to do I didn't mean to go into all of that but you know what that's what God is saying and that needed to be said I guess so you know what God is always right you know what someone needed to hear that and let's get back to the weekly update of what's going on in uh, the ministry. Like I said, the ministry is tax exempt. I want to thank God for that. That is an amazing uh, thing, and I just want to praise Him for that. So all your donations are tax exempt. The ministry is trying to get a video camera. It's a decent video camera. It's brand new, and you know what? But it costs money. So that's a TV quality, and you can. Uh, we can use that for the TV in the future and um, want to use that to record the messages to put on the internet 
and all kinds of good things to reach out to people, to reach the hurting, to reach the hungry for God. And you know what? It's about reaching those people. That's what Jesus gave a mandate to us to do. And we will use that camera to do that. And I will preach God's word on it, and I cannot wait to get it. You can help us to purchase that camera by going to revivalishere.org slash support. Click on the Donate Now button, and you can use your credit card, checking account, and debit card. I encourage you to do that. Sow a seed, and God will bless you. Of course, you can mail your check or money order to Revival Us Here Ministries, P.O. Box 243, Bedford, Kentucky, 40006. And I want to thank you for doing that so we can... Uh, get the gospel out and you know god has put on my heart to have a meeting billy jones said he would be uh wanting he wants to do the music for the meeting so you know what there needs to be finances to get the building and lots of other things so you know what it might be next year for that can happen for the money wise to do it and the things to line up correctly but god is behind it I know that he is. He's confirmed it. And people's asked me about uh, having a meeting. They want me to have a meeting. So you know what? Well, going to try to do that. And you know, you can donate. Your uh, donations will be tax exempt. I keep uh, records of it. And you will get a uh, paper mailed to you at the first of the year so you can take it off your taxes because it's tax exempt the ministry is 501c3 public charity tax exempt so i encourage you to sow a seed the amount that god has put on you and it will be blessed greatly now i pray a financial blessing upon you in the name of jesus glory hallelujah and you know what God has really put on my heart a vision for the ministry, a goal. Some of it might be really big, but God can do it. In the future, start women, start a woman's shelter in Louisville and in Ashland, Kentucky. And to also sometimes in the future, have a, some kind of a meetings and maybe a church in Ashland, Kentucky and Louisville, Kentucky and Bedford. You know what? That seems like a lot of churches, but God can do it. He can bring the finances in and and he can do it. Glory, hallelujah. I know that he can. He's put a vision in my heart, and he can do it. God has put a mandate upon me, and he said he wants to bring revival to this state. He confirmed it by someone else that come to the state that's not from the state, but that he's a prophet. And he, he said publicly the same thing that I posted on Facebook time and time again and said on the podcast and radio services. He said the exact same thing that God told me. So that is confirmed. God wants to bring revival to this state. A ground-shaking revival. He wants to pour his spirit out. God is about ready to release a wave of miracles that no one has even seen before. It's going to be so vast, the miracles that he's going to do. No one can doubt that it's God. It's going to point right to Jesus. Every miracle must point to Jesus. And that the miracles that God is about ready to do is going to point to Jesus and his love. It's about him pouring his love out upon his people. You know what? And everybody, every minister should be walking in God's love. They should not have any pride about him. They should be walking in God's love. And they should be willing to pour, let God use them to pour God's love out upon every, everybody that they meet. They should not turn someone away if someone needs a touch from God. Unless there's things that's going on like he might be in a secular job and he has things to deal with with that like me i'm in a secular job so i don't have as much time that i should to put into the ministry because i'm not getting any uh salary from the ministry as at this time um i get all of my money that comes to me is from my regular normal job so i can't spend the time that i want in the ministry even that I should because I have to uh, work to get money to uh, 
pay for the ministry things because there's very little donations that come in. But you know what? That minister, whoever he is, if he can, he needs to pray for me, be there for people, love on him, or just to smile, just say God loves you. He might not be able to talk to him for that for a long length of time, but you know what? Just to say God loves you. He shouldn't be no superstar where he's not approachable. That's wrong. He should be approachable. A minister should be approachable, and people shouldn't be afraid to approach that minister. That's the way it should be. Jesus was approachable. People come up to Jesus, and they wouldn't take no for an answer. That's how approachable he was. And the minister should be approachable. That's the way they should be. They should be a servant, not some superstar behind the pulpit. You know what? We need to stop that stuff and get back to what God has called the church to do. We are to make disciples. And how do you do that? Getting out there among them. You hear what I'm telling you right now. God is saying, church, wake up. I'm telling you right now that God is going to shake the church. He's going to shake out the chaff that shouldn't be there and make the church what it's supposed to be. The church isn't called to be a country club. It's called to be a hospital. It's turned from being there for people and reaching out to the lost to the lifestyles of the rich and spiritually dead. They're a bunch of Lazarus. They're dry bones. Like Jesus said to the Pharisees, they have whitewashed walls. They look good on the outside. They have their perfect clothes. They go to the salon, you know, get their hair done and everything. But inside, they're a bunch of dead man's bones. That's the state of the church right now. And they need to wake up in the name of Jesus and come forth and be what God has called them to be, to be a light in this world. You know what? A light, a uh, candle has a flame. And that flame is the presence of God. We should have the presence of God inside of us to be that flame. And we are the candle and God is the fire. And we are to burn for Jesus. You hear what I'm telling you. God has called us to reach out to the people and to the lost and hurting and to bring them the good news. That good news is Jesus loves them and he loves you that's listening to this. And you know what? I want to thank you for listening to this weekly update. It turned into be more of a sermon than an update, but God wanted that said. You know what? God loves you. And if you want to keep this ministry going forward for God and starting a new avenues and new outreaches donate to the ministry that's revivalishere.org slash support this week's weekly podcast is called podcast 63 the pharisee you can listen to it by going to revivalishere.org i encourage you to listen to it that's what god is saying right now to the church and uh, this week's uh Revival radio services will be on the fire of God. God did a powerful outpouring of his Holy Spirit on Sunday's uh, radio service. It was powerful. God touched people. He touched me. He touched Brother Billy. He Brother Billy called in and was a part of it. He touched him too. He was overflowing. God touched people. He set them free. And I, I'm really happy about that. You can listen to that by going to blogtalkradio.com slash revival is here. Or from your mobile phone, type m.blogtalkradio.com slash revival is here. Or another way is by going to revivalishere.org slash radio from your PC. And I encourage you to do that. Of course, if you have an iOS device or iTunes, you can search Revival is Here Ministries and listen to the podcast and the Revival Radio services over your iTunes in the iTunes store or your little uh, podcast app on your iOS device. So I encourage you to listen to what God has for you and be a part of what God is doing. And if you want to help support it, like I've said, you can go to revivalishere.org slash support. You can click the Donate Now button or mail your check or money order to Revival is Here Ministries, P.O. Box 243, Bedford, Kentucky, 40006. I want to thank you and I pray that God blesses you in every way. This is Revival is Here Ministries.
by Chan Smith. Thank you for tuning in today, and I pray that you have a blessed time in the Lord and get something out of God's Word today. And I pray that God blesses you in every way, in Jesus' name.